Reputations for some of the best troops in the Army of the Potomac were built not upon the record of casualties taken or inflicted, but rather the fear they put into their Confederate enemy. One of those units was the Bucktail Brigade of General Roy Stone. Stone was a patriotic backwoodsman with no real prior military service, but coming in 1861, he left the very rural western mountains of Pennsylvania and mustered with his hunting rifle and dozens of other woodsmen like himself. A deer tail was found and placed in the caps of Stone's men, and their reputation as hunters became legendary. These mountain men were dead shots. Stone's company became a regiment and fought in many of the 1862 battles from the Shenandoah Valley to Antietam. Known as the first Pennsylvania rifles, the Bucktails were, in the words of one officer, a terror to the enemy. Stone then raised a brigade of qualified Bucktails. The 149th and 150th Pennsylvania regiments were formed. In due time, the 143rd Regiment would join the command. The Bucktails even carried special weapons, the Sharps rifle. And at Gettysburg, the brigade established itself by coupling this brutal accuracy with tactical excellence under their commander, Colonel Roy Stone. Stone was wounded and the Bucktails left almost 900 of its 1,300 men on the fields at Gettysburg defending their home state. That combat experience made them a tough force in the spring campaign of 1864. By the Middle War period, the average strength of a regiment in the Army of the Potomac was 400 men. Firing three rounds per minute, a veteran regiment could easily expend 12,000 rounds in a 10-minute firefight. At the Battle of Gettysburg, the high tide of the war, Mr. Lincoln's Army of the Potomac had grown into a perfect killing machine. In May and June of 1864, fighting changed from open warfare, Napoleonic tactics, to trench fighting. The Army of the Potomac would be forced to use the bayonet to drive Lee's army out of its trenches. The last year of the Civil War in the East was full of frontal assault after frontal assault. Even with the previously inconceivable combat losses under Grant's direct command, the proud Army of the Potomac resolved to stick to it and eventually destroyed the Army of Northern Virginia. <laughs> 